Welcome Trailblazers to today's tutorial where I will be showing you how to customize Salesforce Duplicate Management Solution. This feature will enable you to maintain clean, accurate data by managing duplicates one at a time and also help you track your progress in eliminating them across your org. First, we have to define and activate matching rules which contain the matching criteria to identify duplicate records. To do so, click on the gear icon and select Setup. Search Duplicate Management and click Matching Rules. Here we are presented with a standard matching rules for account, contact and lead. They cannot be modified, but you can see more info about how Salesforce comprises each of them. Here we see the match keys that speed up matching by narrowing the potential matches before the row applies a comprehensive mat matching equation which returns true when one or more of these six pairs of fields meets the matching criteria defined down here. Standard matching rules are great, but sometimes you need to define matching criteria specific to your business. And you have that option with custom rules that you can create here. The objects supported are lead, contact, business and person account, as well as custom objects. Let's create one for contact. Specify a role name. Custom contact matching. For matching criteria, let's say first name has to be an exact match. The last name. Can be a fuzzy match, a mailing street, a fuzzy match. Match blank fields checkbox means that empty fields are automatically considered a duplicate, and add filter logic allows you to customize logic in your filter. For example, you can say one or two. and three, but we'll leave the AND operator. Now we can save and activate the rule. Salesforce send an email when that activation process is completed. Now a matching rule alone cannot do anything unless we pair it with a duplicate rule. The duplicate rule is, is what prevents users from creating duplicate records or alerts them before doing so. Let's define one and activate it. Click on duplicate rules. We are also met with a standard rules for contact and lead, but we can edit them if we want to. Here, we want to create a new one for contact, so go back, click new rule, contact specify a rule name record level security if you enforce sharing rules means that the matching rule compares only records that the users has access to on the other hand by past sharing rules the matching rule compares all records regardless of user access we're gonna leave enforce sharing rules for actions, let's block the creation and also the addition of the record. For matching rule, select the new one we just created. And note that we have the option to add additional ones, up to three. And finally, we have uh, an optional set of conditions that record must meet for the rule to run. We'll leave this empty, click save, 
and activate the rule. Let's see this in action now by simulating a duplication of contacts according to our matching rule. Select any contact and try to duplicate it. and also get the mailing address and put it in the mailing street and we are blocked as expected we can change this behavior in the duplicate rule to allow saving we can edit allow on creation and addition if we select alert we are alerted before saving the record and the report option allows us to later on report on duplicate records. So let's select all of them, click save, and go back to the contact. If I try to save this time, I should be alerted, and I am. And if I click save again, the record should be saved this, this time. So we see the record was duplicated. We have one potential duplicate. Now let's report on all duplicate contacts that we need to track. For that, we must create a custom report type. Click on the setup gear icon. Search report type. Hit continue new custom report type the primary object has to do that object you want to report on in this case contact Air, uh, report label duplicate contacts a description and a category account and contacts Select deployed as a status, click next. And for the secondary object, choose duplicate record items. Click save. Keep in mind you, you just have to repeat the same process for any other object you wish to report on for, for duplicates. So now let's create our report. Click on the report tab, no report, choose the brand new report type, continue, and let's report on all time contacts, apply, and we can see our duplicate records here, save and run the report. Now if we open one of these from the potential duplicate component we can merge the contacts so select the other one click next here select the fields that will remain in this case this one click next and confirm the merge. So we have eliminated the duplicate. That's all for today. Thank you guys for watching and let's keep blazing the trails ahead. Mm -hmm.